does this new planet hold? What will our crew's lives look like moving forward? Let's go to our new home. I am so excited for season two. Oh my goodness. I love the arc. Um, I mean, uh, Dean and Jonathan, to start with you guys, the entirety of season one is centered around these characters trying to make it to Proxby. That is no longer an option. Arc one is damaged. We don't know who's alive. What's next? Where do we go from here? Well, there's only so much we can tell you because we don't want to give you any spoilers, but um, needless to say, there is there is hope. There's another planet. And we find out about the other planet and uh, we have uh, a journey to get there, to find out, to figure out how to get there with our broken ship. Well, I mean, with that being said, Christy, we have a Garnet who isn't just responsible for her own survival. Uh, she's been entrusted mm -hmm. to the lives of everybody on Arc 1. How will that pressure intensify now that these plans have had to change so drastically? Oh, it like won't affect her at all. She'll be like totally fine. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> She's got this. She's got this. You know, I think like we le we leave season one with her feeling like she's found her family and we start season two kind of in that same place where she's starting to have to lead from her heart. And I think that can be difficult for her because she's never had to do that before. So she has skin in the game now and it's kind of like I think decisions are harder for her to make because it means she's going to have to risk potentially losing people that she doesn't want to lose. So I think it, the pressure is like tenfold. And this season's like crazy. It's like unpredictable. There's so much that happens that like I didn't even expect. So. Well, you know, she did mention in the pilot that I, it, she said something like she has no ambition in governing, but she's such a good leader. So, I mean, now that she's taken on this responsibility, do you think she would ever really be able to give it up? I think that's a really good question. I don't know if I have an answer. I think, you know, I'd, I'd wait for Jonathan Glasner to write me something really beautiful to say that maybe would have, like, give me the answer. Um, but I don't really know. I think, I think she wants to lead herself. Like, I think by the end of season one, she's realizing that this isn't a job that she, yes, she's really good at it, but she doesn't really want to do it. She's only doing it because she wants to get these people, she wants to complete her mission essentially. And I think there's a part of her who wants to just lead herself. She's never had to do that before. And then Dean and Jonathan, I want to ask you guys about Felix because I love Felix. He is such a pure soul. He's just trying to make sure everybody is okay at all times. Um, is there maybe, I mean, we still don't know if he's alive, but is there maybe hope that his daughter is okay now that we know that Kelly wasn't super truthful about anything at all? <laughs> maybe yes, maybe no. <laughs> I can't tell you, <laughs> but, uh, but that is definitely his search for her will continue. I can say that much. I think the fun part of this show is that there's so much that we learned about the characters in season one. And in season two, we discovered there's so much more we didn't know. And where those roads go are always surprising on the show, uh, often satisfying and sometimes heartbreaking. So. I think all the characters, but Felix as well. Um, I think it's going to go some directions that people are going to really be surprised about this year. Yeah, well, honestly, my favorite part about TV is when things happen that even the creators don't expect. You know, maybe there's a story or, or a character that goes in a different direction. Did you two have that experience at all while writing season one? Did any character or relationship end up surprising you? Um, I, I would say it happened all the time. I can't single out any single one, but, but you know, as you work with a new cast that you're just getting to know, you start to see them do things and little nuances that they play that you didn't even think about. And it leads you as a writer, it leads you down a path. Like, you know, why did why did Garnett just give him that funny little look? What did that mean? Is that, you know, and then you, <laughs> you kind of talk about it in the writer's room and you go, well, that would be interesting. Maybe we should try that. And you go down the path. Um, it happened a lot. It happened a lot on this show. That's because I give a lot of funny looks, Rachel. My <laughs> acting is like compiled of funny looks. So 
That was Jonathan being really nice. <laughs> Looks can move mountains in TV. Hey, so. seriously, <laughs> seriously, Christy, Christy is one of the best nonverbal actors I've worked with. So oh. Whenever you cut to a reaction from her, she's giving you something. And it's, um, I'm and not it's saying mostly that, just to kiss up. It's true. It's very true. Thanks, Jonathan. Well, on that same kind of a note, I love the partnership that formed between um, Garnett and Lane because, I mean, they, they started off kind of butting heads. Um, mm. Can you talk a bit about how that relationship has evolved since they first met and what it may look like now that they're friends? Um, when we left off. Like, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I just, whenever I think of Lane, I think of Reese, and I'm always just like, ugh. Um, yeah, I think their relationship progresses. He starts to, I think, without giving anything away, like, he starts to become, I think, the man that Garnett always wanted him to be. And I guess we find out what that really does to her emotionally and physically. And I think uh, the fans are going to be pleasantly surprised about where that all goes at the end of last season he he became a hero i mean he stayed mm -hmm. back and, and uh on a suicidal mission to save everybody and then garnett saved him so that that takes their relationship a whole different direction well <laughs> lastly we got to talk about garnett and evelyn because they surprised each other in the finale you know a, a lot of things were done and said but could a friendship be possible between them, you know, after after what happened? Yeah, I think so. I think Garnett, that's like one of my favorite traits about her that Jonathan and the amazing writers have written is that she's like blindly trusting people. She's so forgiving. And I think, um, I think she'll always give somebody a second chance, which is, I think, one of my favorite things about her. So yeah, of course, there's always opportunity for redemption in any relationship, I think, when it comes to Garnett. And Gar Garnett and the whole crew, they don't forget the, the uber mission of this whole thing, which is to save humanity. Mm. And, and a ship full of of people on Maddox's ship are still people. Yeah, and, and she's so non-biased too. Like she's so yeah. good at seeing the two sides of the things. Like she's very empathetic in the sense that she can see why Evelyn did what she did and she can see why, you know, she's done what she's done. Like she's very good at seeing the two sides of the coin, so and not having any feelings about it in the sense of leading from that place. I think also the characters this season are are acutely aware of how few humans are left alive. And and when you start to think about it in that context, the ability to be uh, more empathetic and generous becomes part of the survival of mankind. And that they're not potentially not that far away from like inhabiting a planet that they're all going to have to live on together and work together on, right? So it's like she might not like Evelyn, but it's it doesn't matter. Like the point is the mission and saving humanity and creating a environment where everyone can live peacefully together. All right, it looks like that is about my time for today. But thank you guys so much for chatting with me, and I am super excited to see what you guys bring with season two. Hope you you. This is amazing. It is honestly amazing. Is it one of those scary science things? It's like amazing, but it's probably gonna kill us all.